Eureka Rosa da Silva is one of the top jockeys Canada has ever seen. He has more than 2,200 wins on the racetrack and was named Canada's top jockey several times in his impressive career. Two years ago, he decided it was time to retire. Fans of him have always known him as being jovial, full of life, and with a smile on his face. But in his new book, Riding for Freedom, he details a deep pain he was hiding since his childhood. I tell you the right experience was that I cried for three months. You know, I cried for three months. De Silva, who was born and raised in Brazil, details in his book the trauma he suffered from his verbally abusive father, which he says then led to him having his own addictions and long psychological damage. Before I went for help, I thought I was a bad person. And was a, such a strong belief. You know, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm, I was very uh, chronic sex addicted, like very chronic. And... Um, and I thought I was a, just a bad person. But then when I went for help, and, and then I start to understand. I start to understand. But it took me many years to be free. And Eureka Rosa da Silva's got a big chance to do it here. For years, he was able to hide the psychological pain he was in. He says at times he even contemplated suicide. It wasn't until he spoke to his brother recently that he decided it was time to share what was going on behind the championships and what seemed like a perfect life. He was in like very deep silence after I told him. He said, you helped me a lot. You have to write a book about this. You're going to help a lot of men, uh, even women, you know, and that hide these secrets. Since retirement, De Silva has become a life coach and is helping others find their own path to mental freedom. I have some clients uh, that's uh, alcoholic, you know, and then you, you start seeing um, after helping them and, and see their, they recover themselves, even the skin change, you know, uh, the way they look, the, the hope in their eye, and it's very rewarding. It's like winning Queen's Plate. It's a sweet six, De Silva again. Although he says sharing his story was difficult, he hopes it inspires people to speak out and get help sooner than he did. Don't wait so long. Go for help, you know, if you need help. And also, if you want to become the best of you, yourself, go for help. Lindsay Dunn, City News.